GMGM, guys and girls into the NFTs. This is your daily NFTs minute and bright future guy, and I'm gonna talk today about two interesting projects from the NFT space. One which is minting soon, one which uh, already minted but is super interesting uh, because of the roadmap and people behind it. So just listen up, and here we go. So the first project I'm gonna talk about today is called robotos and don't mistake it this the other robots i talked about <laughs> recently um which was mm, robo friends so this is robotos.art and uh, robotos is a collection of uh, a designer you may actually know oh i should probably say artist pablo stanley uh pretty famous guy releasing a lot of things including writing uh, most of the stuff is uh, open source, so you can basically use it uh, to produce your own art. Anyway, coming back to Robotos, that's a collection of 10,000 robots which are generating uh, from 170 uh, different trades. Uh, why I like the project is that you know there are different steps in the project. Um, you can buy NFTs of the first uh, drawings, you can buy NFTs of robot pets. Um, and uh, the roadmap was obviously done uh, by someone who is really enjoying just being in the space and producing art. Uh, True to be said, uh, Pablo is working on an uh, automation tool for artists to be able to generate automatically their NFT collections uh, from their art. Uh, so I guess, you know, Robotos might be something like the beta version uh, or beta testing uh, field for that. Um, in the roadmap, you will find basically uh, monthly exclusive NFT drops uh, for the holders. They say that you will receive at least one airdrop every month. Different collaborations, of course. Uh, interesting piece, Roboto Workshop. Uh, this is limited to Roboto holders and it's basically a place where you can uh, do different stuff to your Roboto. Uh, like right now. You can uh, change the wardrobe, uh, you can create your uh, Roboto banner, uh, or you can uh, suit up uh, your Roboto or your RoboPet. So, to be fair, I actually like the idea of the workshop a lot. I think every project should have a workshop. Instead of buying mutation serums, you should have a workshop and you should be able to do it yourself anytime you wish. Um, of course, there is some some merch, and I am uh, pretty sure there is more uh, things coming. Uh, you can find the Robotos uh, collection on the Open Sea uh, right now, and you can find uh, <laughs> uh, three other collections right there. Um, I definitely recommend um, you check it out, simply because you know robot. Robotos are cool robots. It's uh, not uh, something amazing as an as an art uh, if you are into more elaborate drawings, but it's cheeky, funny, and obviously, you know, people are in it for long term, uh, and the ro workshop is fun. So it's robotos uh, dot art. Check them out. And the second project I'm going to talk about today is. Uh, Female led or female co led, you could say, uh, called Angel Alliance. And it's, uh, it's a project which is uh, aiming to support women entrepreneurs' empowerment. It's kind of uh, you know similar to the projects I talked about. Some of them are uh, more focused on art, some of them are focused on entrepreneurs. This one goes the entrepreneurs' real way, kind of like Wow Pixies, I would say. Uh, Angel Alliance mission is to help empower women with the skills and funding they need to grow. Um, it obviously comes out from the uh, founder uh, experience. Um, the what, the, what they want to do is basically fund startups uh, founded by women with a small amount of uh, cash at the beginning. There is going to be a DAO, so the community will nominate startups and will decide which startups will get funding. 
and uh, of course in the next step they want to create exclusive uh, and uh, join also exclusive clubs where you where they can connect investors and entrepreneurs um, to basically receive follow-up funding and tools uh, for female founders to grow their business i think the aim is very solid um, and the passion is visible the art is also pretty cool I'm not sure it's uh, long-term feasible uh, because there is really no way um, nowhere described not even in the white paper how the DAO will receive uh, back some funds from uh, from the projects which will be successful and I think it's a missing part in many projects because unless you invest in NFTs from other projects um, if you invest into anything in the real world um, you need to figure out the way how to get some cash back otherwise you know your treasury gets depleted anyway um white paper has a lot of details about female entrepreneurship visibly i would say it's uh, written by <laughs> founder maddie and uh, visibly it's written with the analyst mind so there's a lot of facts and numbers if you want to check it out um on the roadmap there is a lot of things like connected uh, female connecting female entrepreneurs um chance to impact uh, female startups of course some exclusive events and trainings um, and connections to investors and other things and obviously the biggest piece i would say would be um, you should join if you want to get funded as a startup or if you want to support people uh, getting funding uh, especially female entrepreneurs of course uh, the supply is 6666 um the mint date is supposed to be march 12th and uh, i think the mint price wasn't set up just yet uh, they have live discord so you know if you're interested just definitely go and check it out it's uh, angelalliance.co and uh, co-founders Mary and bruno uh, plus uh, other two team members uh, so completely doxed team simple roadmap and a nice written white paper and that's all for today i am looking at it and i see i spend actually a lot of time on each project probably i'm just slow today in the morning so sorry for that the other projects for today were robotos and angel alliance both pretty cool one uh, is coming up in march 12th at angel alliance robotos you can find them on OpenSea, but i think which you can find in a footnote. Great future guy, and that's it for today, guys. Cheers to the moon.